Hello everyone, today let's talk about the silent suffering and pain that dogs and cats go through when they are mistreated and abused. It is heartbreaking to see how many animals are subjected to this kind of treatment every day and what's even worse is that most of the time they suffer in silence. They cannot speak up for themselves. They cannot tell us what's going on and they cannot ask for help. That is why it is so important for us to be aware of the signs and symptoms of abuse and mistreatment. We need to be their voice and speak up for them when they can't do it themselves. Now, if you're, if you're not sure what to look for, I highly recommend watching this video. It is a powerful reminder of just how much pain and suffering these animals go through, and it will help you recognize the signs of abuse and neglect. But it is not enough to just be aware of the problem, people. We need to take action and do something about it. Whether that means reporting uh, suspected abuse to the authorities or volunteering or simply spreading awareness on, on social media. Every little bit helps. Trust me on that, guys. So please, if you see something that doesn't seem right, don't ignore. Speak up for those who can't speak up for themselves. Together we can make a difference in, in, in the lives of those innocent animals and put an end to their silent and suffering. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. You're going to like this video I just put up out there for you guys. For you guys to watch it, give us your comments in the description below. Tell us what is your opinion. What do you think should we do Please, this is Raphael with the Moving On Podcast Show. I hope you love this video and you share it with your loved ones, with your uh, friends who own pets and cats. You can make a big, a huge difference in our four fury legged companions, people. Help me with this. Watch this video. It's coming right now to you. Have you ever looked into the eyes of a dog and wondered what stories of pain they could tell? There's a silent suffering that often goes unnoticed, a silent cry that remains unheard. Dogs, our loyal companions, bear the brunt of this silence. Across the globe, a tragic number of dogs are victims of mistreatment, a reality that's as heartbreaking as it is horrifying. The abuse ranges from negligence to physical harm, and the victims are often left voiceless, their pain concealed behind those innocent eyes. This is not an isolated incident or a rare occurrence. It's a widespread issue that requires our immediate attention. What many people fail to realize is that dogs, like us humans, experience pain in a very real way. They feel it, endure it, and it affects them both physically and psychologically. When a dog is mistreated, it doesn't just bear the scars on its body, but also on its soul. The effects of the abuse are long-lasting and deeply impactful, altering the dog's behavior and quality of life. Physiologically, the pain can lead to a variety of health issues, from malnutrition due to neglect, to severe injuries from physical abuse. In some dire cases, the damage may even be irreversible. Psychologically, the effects are equally devastating. Dogs subjected to mistreatment often show signs of anxiety, fear and depression. Their trust in humans, once unshakable, is shattered, making it difficult for them to form connections again. The sad truth is, many people are not aware of the silent suffering these animals endure. There's a lack of understanding, a lack of empathy, and a lack of action. But the first step towards change is awareness. It's time we recognize the pain hiding behind those loving eyes the silent pleas for help. The eyes are the window to the soul, 
and in the case of our canine friends, they often reflect untold stories of suffering. We must learn to see these stories, to understand them, and ultimately to change them. Because every dog deserves a life filled with love, care, and respect. Dogs are not just pets, they are family. But how much do we truly know about their capacity to endure pain? We may think we know, but the reality could be far more complex and profound than we imagine. Science has shown us that dogs have a remarkable ability to endure pain. This is largely due to their survival instincts, honed over thousands of years of evolution. In the wild, showing signs of weakness or pain could make an animal a target for predators or lead to rejection by its pack. Therefore, dogs have developed a kind of stoicism, a silent endurance, in the face of discomfort or even severe pain. But why should this matter to us, the human companions of these loyal, loving creatures? It matters because often, we are their only advocates. Their silent suffering can go unnoticed, misunderstood, or even ignored. And it is up to us to recognize the signs and take action. Dogs rarely vocalize their pain. Instead, they may show subtle changes in behavior or demeanor. Perhaps their appetite wanes or they become less eager to play or go for walks. Maybe they are more lethargic than usual, or they seem unusually anxious or agitated. These are all possible signs of pain, and they often go unnoticed. The challenge here lies not just in recognizing these signs, but in understanding what they mean. We must remember that dogs, like us, are individuals. They have their own personalities, their own ways of expressing themselves, and when they are in pain, they may not behave in ways that we expect. So let's take a moment to appreciate the unseen endurance of our canine companions. Let's remember that their stoicism in the face of pain is not a sign of indifference, but rather a testament to their survival instincts, their resilience, and their trust in us to care for them. A dog's silence is not a sign of absence of pain, but rather a testament to their incredible resilience. Let us not take that silence for granted. Let us strive to understand, to empathize, and to act on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. How can we, as responsible caretakers, break the cycle of canine suffering? The answer lies in a combination of education, empathy, and enforcement. Let's delve deeper into each of these elements. Education about animal welfare is a crucial first step. We need to understand that dogs, like humans, have needs, feelings, and rights. They require regular meals, a safe place to live, and plenty of love and attention. They need exercise and mental stimulation. They need us to understand their language, their body signals, and their unique personalities. And they need us to respect their boundaries. Education allows us to understand these needs and to be better caretakers as a result. Empathy is the next step. It's about putting ourselves in the paws of our four-legged friends. Imagine being unable to communicate your pain, your fear, or your loneliness. Imagine being at the mercy of someone who doesn't understand or care about your needs. This exercise in empathy can help us to treat our dogs with the kindness and respect they deserve. Enforcement too plays a crucial role. Our legal institutions and animal rights organizations must work together to ensure that those who mistreat dogs face consequences. We need laws that protect dogs from abuse and neglect, and we need those laws to be enforced. But laws alone aren't enough. We also need organizations that can rescue dogs from harmful situations, provide them with the care they need, and find them loving homes. But it's not just about what these institutions can do. It's about what each of us can do. We can educate ourselves and others. We can practice empathy. We can support the work of animal rights organizations. We can adopt or foster dogs in need. We can be responsible pet owners. Change begins at home, and each one of us can play a part in ending the silent suffering of our loyal companions. Can you imagine a world where every dog is treated with the love and respect they deserve? Picture this, a world where our furry friends experience nothing but joy, comfort, and the warmth of a loving home. It's not just a dream, but a possibility we can turn into reality. When dogs are treated well, the effects are profound and far-reaching. Their health improves, their coats shine brighter, their tails wag more enthusiastically. Dogs are incredibly resilient creatures, capable of bouncing back from the toughest situations, 
showing us that it's never too late for a second chance. Let's highlight some inspiring stories of transformation that illustrate this point. Remember Max, the malnourished retriever found roaming the streets. With proper medical care and a loving home, Max transformed into a vibrant, playful dog who now brings joy to everyone he meets. And then there's Bella, the scared little terrier who flinched at every touch. Today, she's a confident, loving pet, thanks to patient training and a nurturing environment. These transformations are more than just heartwarming stories. They serve as a reminder of the potential each dog holds when given the right care and love. They show us the power of empathy, compassion and responsible pet ownership. The change in their physical health is evident, but it's the brightness in their eyes, the spring in their step, that truly tells the tale of their newfound happiness. In treating dogs with the respect they deserve, we're not just improving their lives, but ours as well. The bond between humans and dogs stretches back thousands of years, and when nurtured, this bond can bring immeasurable joy and companionship. So let's strive for a world where every dog's tail wags with joy, where their eyes sparkle with trust and love, a world where no dog has to endure suffering or pain. Every dog deserves a life free from pain, a life filled with love, care and respect. Together we can make this a reality.